Now to remove the seal, I have a seal puller by OEM Tools, which I purchased from Canadian Tire. Take one end of the seal puller, wedge it in, twist, and pull. And the seal pops out. That is the easiest way to remove the front crank harmonic balancer seal. Now to reinstall the seal, you'll need this special tool which will push the seal into place, or you can do it by hand with a mallet. Some people use a piece of two by four, but I prefer to use the dedicated tool. Basically what you'll do is flip it like this, take your new seal upside down, insert, and finally what you'll do is put this in place and put in your original harmonic balancer bolt which will push it into place when you tighten it down. So now you'll see it's perfectly centered. It has to be because the tool is what's doing the lineup. You'll want to keep tightening until it bottoms out. You'll know when you bottom out because you can't go anymore. Remove your bolt and this should come out with it. And now your seal is in place. Ensure it is completely flush and that you can't feel any overhang around the edges. Now, one word of advice, a lot of seals are PTFE, so you do not want to lubricate this. You want to do an install that is dry, no lubrication whatsoever, none on the seal and none on the harmonic balancer. According to most manufacturers like L-Ring, you want to ensure that this is a dry installation. Lubricate the O-ring on the bolt going into the harmonic balancer. And don't forget, when you reinstall the harmonic balancer, there is a keyway it needs to line up on the motor side as well. The harmonic balancer reinstallation is the same way you took it out. The torque value for the bolt is 150 newton meters and a 90 degree turn. Watch my other videos if you need to learn how to put on the drive belt and get out of service mode.